Hi everybody! Welcome to Dandelion Cottage and Watercolor Wednesday. I'm Leslie Watkins. The lilacs are blooming like crazy today. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, the, the entire front yard is scented. As soon as you come up the, the front steps, you, you get this wonderful waft of the fragrance of the white lilac that I have growing there. It's getting really big. And, um, and so I thought it'd be a perfect day to paint lilac. So let's get started. Here are my lilacs. <coughs> and I'm just going to check my settings on the computer, make sure that that's working. There we go. Hi, Kelly. How are you? So it, it is a gorgeous day here. I think maybe you could hear the birds singing. Hear the, the chickens. It's just a perfect early spring or late spring, I should say early. It's almost early summer day in Northwest Connecticut. So I'm thinking I want to do a kind of a wet and wet, a kind of a loose style of watercolor, or at least start that way. And let me see how I can arrange these so I can see them. That looks pretty good. Okay, it's, they are casting, it's kind of a, casting a um, shadow on my surface here, but I think we can deal with that. So I have a note card here, and this measures five and a half by four and a quarter, fold, that's the folded size, and... Here's my envelope, my matching envelope. This, this color is called Very Vanilla, and it's this beautiful cream kind of color. And I like that because it, it looks good with the watercolor paper that I like to use. So I have a scrap of watercolor paper here, and I just need to tear it down to size for this card. So I'm just going to begin by folding that back on itself so I can see that I have an even border all around. And then I'm going to take my bone folder and give that a nice firm burnish. And I'm just going to do that several times to break down the the fibers and the paper so that it, it tears easier. And then I'm just going to pull this little piece away. Now, this piece is perfect for a sentiment, so I'm going to hang on to that. And I'm just going to mark the back side. And that looks good. And then I want to pick a, a mat. So I have a couple of colors here that I've pulled out. I've got this one, which is Purple Posy. Oh no, wait a minute. What? Oh yes, that's Purple Posy. And then I also have one of the new in colors. And that's that one. And... I don't remember the name of it, so let me look that up real fast. Okay. 
That is Fresh Freesia. And, um, and actually they look really nice together. Hmm. I'm gonna go with the Fresh Freesia. So let's see. I'm gonna cut this at five and three eighths by four and one eighth. And I'm just gonna check that. That looks really pretty. <clears throat> and just because I have it out, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can squeeze this in at five and a quarter water by four So these, these mats are just a one-eighth increment down. So I could do that. All right, so that's, we'll see how that looks once the picture is done. Get my watercolors. So I'm just using the yellow, red, and blue, and I'm going to get out my number four sable, and I think I'm going to get out my larger one too. So there's my number seven. And let me get my surface arranged here. I've got a piece of plexiglass that I'm going to put on my desk because I'm going to spray my paper. So I'm just using my spritzer to moisten the paper. And this, this paper is 90 pound hot pressed watercolor paper. So it has a nice smooth surface. And I'm going to begin by mixing up a little bit of red and a little bit of blue to get a, a very soft violet color. And I'm just going to begin very lightly. And I'm just going to indicate the, the shape of the flower truss. And then because I have three different colors here, I've got the kind of a um, bluer violet and then I've got a rich, beautiful red. Violet over here. And I'm just going to 
indicate a kind of a regular edge for all these little buds and flowers because some of these buds haven't even opened yet. I'm going to keep my light areas light. And let's get some of the leaves placed. So again, using a very pale, kind of a yellow-green to start with. And really what I'm doing is I'm using the, the shape of the brush to help describe the shape of the, of the leaves. And I don't, I'm not going to put them all in because I want more violets than greens. But I can just kind of get these in their positions. And for my white lilac, I'm just going to let the paper stand for the, for the white. And I'm just going to come around the uh, negative shape with the, the leaves and the background. And for the background over here, I think I'm going to use just a little cool tone like that. Just sort of come around. Alright, so, so you can see in just a couple of seconds you can have your picture started. So that is the first wash, and I know it's uh, very light and you probably can't see too much right now, but I'm going to begin increasing the colors. So I know that this is going to be very dark under here because this first of all the the flower is already very rich and dark and so for this shadow tone I can get nice nice and strong darks and I'm just letting those colors kind of flow and merge with one another and then for my bluer violet I mean lilac I was, I was torn between painting the lilacs or the violets today. The violets are everywhere, so pretty. And, um, and also the forget-me-nots are, uh, are blooming. I'm going to have to go out later with my camera and take some pictures and post them because there's just so much going on right now. All right, now I want to get some darker tones in my leaves also. So I'm just mixing up some blue and yellow and adding a little extra blue so that it's a uh, darker green now. And I can just drop that in where I need it.
Now let's see. Um, you, it looks like you're getting a glare on here. I want to see what happens if I move this. There's, that's a little better. Hmm. Move this over here so I can still see it and you don't have a glare. There we go. All right, now this is pretty wet right now. So I want to take advantage of that while it's still wet. And now I'm switching to my smaller brush. And I'm just going to see if I can get some of these little individual petals and buds. And, I'm, and the scent is so wonderful. What a, what a nice way to spend a beautiful day like this than by enjoying these gorgeous flowers and their scent and, uh, and then having a, a nice little picture that you can share with somebody. I'm mixing up some very dark green now just by adding a little more blue to the mixture, less water, and a touch of violet. That's going to give me a nice strong green. All right, so now I'm going to put this aside for a minute to let that dry a little bit. I'm going to clear away this plexiglass. And while my picture is, is drying a little bit, I'm going to put together my layers here. I think that one's on its way out. This would make a beautiful box, too.
If you'd like to learn more about watercolor, you can subscribe to Notes from Dandelion Cottage on my website at dandeliancottagedesign.com and I will be sending out information about the watercolor workshop, the watercolor card club, and other classes and events that I have coming up. So please do that. And, um, and while you're there, you can also check out the join page. And on the join page, you'll see all the benefits that you'll receive by uh, joining my design team. And you'll be able to get 20% off on future purchases. And you'll also be able to order a, t a starter kit of paper crafting supplies and tools. And there's a special going on this month, the month of May, where you can get $155 worth of tools and supplies for paper crafting. And these are the best quality. These are the exact same ones that I use every day. And you'll only pay $99 for them and free shipping. And that is a fantastic deal. Now, typically when you get the starter kit, you get $125 worth of, of tools and supplies for $99. So this is a substantial difference. And so you won't want to miss that. Okay, so I've got my mats on my paper here. Let me see how this is doing. It's still very wet, so I think you can see the sheen on the surface there. So I'm not going to mount this just yet. What I'm going to do when it gets a little more dry is I'm going to um, Do you guys see this? That is a tick that came in off the lilacs. So I'm going to kill that in a, as soon as I finish this video. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the, some, some additional texture in the petal areas once the, uh, the painting has dried a little bit more. And, um, and then I will mount it on the card and I will and I will post a picture of that when I'm done but just to give you a quick preview it's going to look something like like this Okay, and you could leave it just as it is. I mean, I like it that way too. But I'm just going to add a couple more strokes just to give it a little more of the characteristic of the lilacs. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that gave you some inspiration. I hope you check yourself for ticks when you go outside. Make sure you don't have any on you. And I will see you next time on Saturday for Paper Crafting Saturday, right here at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. Stay well, stay happy, and stay creative, and I will see you then.